Southwest Airlines tried to discipline a passenger for the way she was dressed. Apparently, they did not like her tittle bitties. Uh, <laughs> Is that what happened? Okay. <laughs> she was uh, bearing too much cleavage, and she was told that she needed to button up her flannel uh, shirt in order to board the plane. Well, she was defiant. She said, no, I am not going to button it up, and there's nothing you can do about it. And they let her uh, fly on the plane, and miraculously, no one died. <laughs> <laughs> no one lost their minds. No heads exploded. Look, st we, these, that's the problem with power, right? Mm -hmm. It always corrupts. So again, when they say liberals are for big government, it's said that's not true. We were for balance, right? So when you give the airline companies too much power, and I don't mean just the companies, it's not a corporate rent or anything. When you tell the stewardess, or whatever, it's a flight attendant, right? Or the pilot or the TSA guy, now you have all the power, and if anybody says anything slightly wrong, mm -hmm. then you can kick them off the plane and ruin their week, their weekend, their plans, their wedding, who cares? Just ruin it, who cares? You have all the power, they have none of the power, right? So then they start getting cocky with that power. I don't like that T-shirt. I don't like that shirt. That shows too much cleavage. It might offend someone else, right? Yeah. Or someone else actually is offended. Well, then we've got to regulate your life. No, no, no. If they're offended, that's their problem, not your problem, okay? We're getting on a freaking plane and we're going to Kentucky. Shut up, okay? Yeah, it, I don't care what anybody's wearing. We really do live in a police state where not only does the government watch us, not only are uh, police enforcement spying on our rafting trips, we have, like, employees at Southwest deciding what is and is not acceptable attire for a flight. And what she was wearing is perfectly acceptable. She's wearing Birkenstocks. Just leave the woman alone. No, no, actually, that's the real crime. Put the picture up again. If she's going to be banned for anything, it should definitely be for the shoes. I don't like seeing that. I don't really not the flannel shirt. I think the flannel shirt is a little questionable. God but bless her. I'm, she's probably a Young Turks viewer. Okay, I, I, from her attire, that's what, what I'm guessing. What are you trying to say okay. about Young Turks viewers? Okay, no, no, they're open-minded and you know hippie liberals. Can keep it real. Okay, no, but having said that, I, this is my personal thing. I can't stand those shoes. As OJ once famously said, I would never wear those ugly ass shoes. And, and, and look, and, and guys should wear it even less. The, the number one on my pet peeve list is dude's toes. I don't want to see your toes. I don't want to see them. Okay? I don't want to see your feet. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Now, uh, ironically, and now by the way, am I going to kick her off the plane for her burger size? Of course not. Of course not. Get on the plane. Let's go. The shirt I wear most often on trips is don't tase me, bro. Like, that's my little joke to myself. Mm -hmm. Like, and sometimes even the TSA guys are like, oh yeah, don't tase me, bro, right. But one day I'm sure the TSA is just like, don't tase me, bro, what do you mean? Is that a threat? Okay, he's off the flight and tase him. <laughs>